Hey folks, it's Simon here with your Tau Daily update for 15th of October 2024. Uh, S&P made another new all-time high yesterday, yesterday being Monday, Columbus Day. And I've got to say this rally is looking pretty healthy. Now, why do I say that? Well, it's not just the S&P that made a new all-time high. Okay, if we look at RSP, RSP also made a new all-time high. Now, RSP is the equally weighted S&P 500 ETF, where all 500 stocks in the S&P 500 are given an equal weight. All right, so if that ETF is making new highs, it means all of the stocks are performing well, not just the MAG7. Um, but again, it's not just RSP. It's uh, narrow indices as well, like the Dow. Okay, the, the Dow Jones made a new all-time high as well. Um, Mid-caps made a new all-time high. This is the uh, Spider Mid-cap Trust. Um, quality stocks made a new all-time high. But it's not just quality stocks. Momentum stocks made a new all-time high as well. If I can get the code right. There we go. Um, financials made a new all-time high. Uh, we had some great results from uh, JP Morgan and Wells Fargo on Friday, and it looks like we got a bit of follow through yesterday. Uh, industrials made a new all time high. Um, aerospace and defense stocks, you guessed it, new all time high. Software also made a new all time high. Internet stocks, new all time high. Cloud computing stocks, new all time high. Do you see a theme here? Cybersecurity stocks, new all-time high. Look, even insurance stocks made a new all-time high yesterday, uh, despite uh, Hurricane Milton running through over the weekend. So it's just a testament to uh, you know how how broad the rally is. Um, SMH, which tracks the semiconductors, is the obvious laggard here, uh, and it looks like this one is starting to wake up. And if we look at the Magnificent Seven. This has been a real laggard as well, all right? But again, this could be starting to wake up too. Um, this is the advanced decline line, the, the blue line. You can see that is making new all-time highs with SPY, just confirming broad support for this market rally. So just to recap, what this tells us is that uh, the market is seeing strong breadth indicating like I said, broad support for the rally. If only a few stocks are driving the market higher while most are falling or staying flat, the market is said to be ha to have weak breadth, suggesting a less healthy or unsustainable rally, uh, but that is clearly not the case that we're seeing today. That's what I got for you. I hope it helps, and I will catch you tomorrow. Thank you.